What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to do something very interesting, okay? I'm starting a new series called How to Build and Where to Use, okay? Basically, I will be going through a certain family, okay? And I will talk about the builds that you can use on these units. I will talk about where you can use them, how to use them and stuff like that, okay? So I will first do the Nat 5s, okay? I will start uh, with uh, Valkyries and then I'll go up until the last Nat 5 and uh, maybe I'll do four stars as well in the future, but that will depend on uh if you guys like these videos how much support they get and uh yeah if you want to see more stuff like this do leave a like okay and uh let's start okay first of all we got vanessa okay i'm gonna start with vanessa now as you guys know vanessa lately has been popping off right You've seen her in in RTA, you've seen her in Arena a lot. And uh, she has become one of the best speed leads that you could possibly use in RTA right now. A lot of people are picking it now with combination with Cigar, combination with Camila, stuff like that. But she kind of fits pretty much many things right she fits many things many many team comps like vanessa water vanilla cookies sonia kind of stuff or the protection is just amazing and the setup is just amazing so of course it's, if she didn't have the 33 she wouldn't be used but <laughs> of course there's the 33 lead too so you would use her in rt mostly but also arena defense Right. In arena defense, you can use her with uh, a lot of things as well. Like my defense lately has been this kind of stuff. I do like to pair Vanessa with Celia, some fast unit. And then on top of that, you go with some RNG kind of stuff. Camila is great. Abilio, uh, all kinds of stuff. Like whatever is known as a good arena defense unit camila is, i mean vanessa is just the perfect pairing in in pretty much everything is she like the most used arena defense unit at the moment she could be potentially because she just really fits the role very very well now how do you build a vanessa right well the best way to go about it for RTA and Arena is uh, Violent Will. My preferred build, I will show you all these builds, okay? I will I will make a build for every single one of these units and uh, that's going to be like, hey, this is how you can build it. I would go something like this. If I was to put my best runes or something like that on a Camila, it would probably just look like something like this, right? You just slap some stuff. And then... Boom. It could be something like this. Or more accuracy, something like this, right? This would mostly be kind of like an RT build, right? For a arena defense build, you could probably go tankier. You don't need to go this speedy. You could. But you don't need to go with this, this speedy. But for RTA, I would probably do something like this where she's speed tuned to set up for something. Let's go next. Uh, for arena defense, you could just not go crit rate. You could go HP slot again. Go more HP here. Do something like this where you have like plus 30-ish K. Still fast. You could go HP slot. You could, you could just do HP slot, or something like this, let's say, where you have even more HP. You're still speedy, but not as speedy. So that is kind of how you would build a 
Vanessa. Next unit, okay, Camila. Uh, dude, she she's very similar to to where she's used as Vanessa, but Camila is also the siege offense queen, right? You would use her in RTA with Vanessa most of the time. Raccoony, stuff like that, right? Cigar. We've seen Vanessa Camila cigar combos all the time. Uh, in Arena, same thing. You would put her with Vanessa. You could do it without Vanessa too. If you're doing some kind of a super tanky team where you're just going aerial Camila. I've seen people do triple Camila. Quad Camila on arena defense, which is kind of like it's crazy, but that's how good she is, actually. But yeah, in Siege as well, Siege offense, it's I don't use her that much on Siege offense. I should probably use her more. I just prefer to cleave my way through through my attacks, as you guys know most of the time but uh yeah she is the queen of siege offense as well how do you build the camilla though now th this is not a good build okay this these are some leftovers but this is kind of how i would build a camilla you would do something like this and then again fast 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 like she deserves to be fast and you probably want more accuracy though on her. Like you do want some accuracy. Something like this, let's say. For, I don't know, for RTA or something. For arena defense, you probably want to go a bit different. You could also go like this in RTA. This is one of the builds that I was using. With not a crit rate slot, but having like just a high crit rate rune here. And then you can go even more crit rate here if you want to you can do something like this where you're still super tanky and speedy and you have like really good crit rate but you could also go just hp 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 that works too pull out something like this you slow it down a bit but you're much tankier and uh yeah in RTA, you could also go crit damage on the Camilla. Something like this, where you just go boom, boom, and then you try to just get crit rate. Something like this, maybe. You do want to make sure that you have accuracy skill to artifacts, at least. So you can uh, just land that skill too because it's very important camilla is a very very good cc unit okay with a two turn cooldown she becomes a very good cc unit so you go something like this i don't know something like this you want more crit rate though you want more crit rate so maybe something like this, right? You could go something like this in RT. But you do want to be speedy. You want to, like, if you can't go super speedy on crit damage, crit rate is a good build. Because you do want to be speed tuned to Vanessa if you're running Vanessa. But yeah, that's kind of how you want to build a Camilla. Next one is the forgotten sister kinda which you don't see much these days and it's just it's just kind of hard to use if i'm being honest <laughs> it's just kind of hard to use mostly people use her right now in r5 you can see her in some siege offenses I think with like Kabesanov and stuff that we've seen before. I've seen some people do Pontos Katarina kind of stuff. I never use her. 
I never used her before. Like I have her. I actually summoned her. She was my she was my second nat five, I think. Or my third nat five, something like that. But I summoned her while she was summonable. Because before seed uh, fusion monsters were summonable. And uh yeah, you could get a uh, Katarina like that. So I never fused her. But yeah, mostly for R5, honestly. How you wanna build her? Just rage will. Fatal will a classic damager set. There, there's nothing specific about it. Okay, if you're using it in R5, you're just gonna do 70 something crit, or if you're using it with Kabesanov, you even need less crit because he does boost your crit rate. I think again, Kabesanov, another unit that I've never really used <laughs> like he does boost your crit rate so if you have a crit rate lead in in r5 which you probably do and if you have a kabesanov you just need low crit rate you can go high damage well next one next one is going to be where is she akroma now, Akroma, again, is very similar to how you would use Camila. It's basically RTA, Arena Defense, Siege Offense. Very similar. Like, the way you would build her is pretty much the same, almost. You do want crit damage hopefully on her if you can't again crit rate slot four is good get some crit damage in the arties um in arena you can use her again with the same vanessa thing that we were talking about you could use her with nana also that kind of stuff i've seen it's pretty cool like it's a pretty cool unit you know you can also pick her if someone is trying to cleave you, okay? It's not a huge chance, but 15% still can matter. Like against Sonya's and stuff. I got trapped by that multiple times before. And it's annoying. I know it's a low chance, but so is resistance, right? You have a 15% chance to get resisted on your max accuracy units. So this is kind of just like additional RNG. And the HP leads kind of crazy, which helps you with that as well. So in arena defense as well, you can go Akroma, Akroma Camila kind of defenses are very annoying. I've seen stuff like that. I've seen Akroma triple Camila, and it is not cool. Okay, it is not cool to fight that. Siege offense as well. I mean, a unit that cannot be debuffed. Well, Siege Offense is pretty insane. But the thing with Akroma is 116 base speed, right? So it's going to be way easier for you to build a Akroma than Camila. Even if you do go crit damage, you have an additional 15%, 15 speed to easily, easily speed tune your stuff, right? She's going to be much easier to speed tune. Because, like, you could do... You could do Vanessa Chroma speed tuning. You know? Camilla is freeze, but a Chroma does have silence for two turns, which is also really good. Because, like, silence for two turns means that your opponent cannot proc out just like they could from a freeze. That's one turn. So, it is kind of CC in, in, in a certain way, but it is pretty underrated, I would say. I don't think people have used the chroma in a way that she can be used so she does feel a bit underrated i feel like people always associate her with slow turn two second turn which she could be a turn one as well if you think about it two turn cooldown pretty powerful for a two turn silence plus glancing glancing as well 
It's kind of nuts, man. It's kind of nuts. I want to see more people do the Vanessa Acroma kind of stuff. But yeah, builds again. The same thing I showed for Camila. That's how you can build a Chroma. Trinity. Now. Trinity is in a tricky spot as well because cleaving in RTA is pretty weak. And she is a cleave unit. You don't want to use Trinity in any other way in any other comp except a cleave comp. If it's not a cleave comp, it's not going to fit. Vanessa and Pisama are going to fit much better. Vanessa for the single target ones, Pisama for the CC ones. So she just doesn't fit in, in anything else than a cleave. Now, there are some people who do crazy cleaves where Trinity is a really good pick because she does more damage than Pisama, right? So if you are one of those people who has a couple more LDs that, <laughs> you know, I've seen Trinity with Craig, I've seen Trinity with Lucifer kind of stuff. It's, it's good. It can be really good. But you need the LD5s to use her. Like, if that's your only LD5, it's gonna be very hard for you to make a cleave that's actually gonna work. Even those heavy LD cleaves don't really work as well as you would think. On top of that, you do need some crazy swift runes to make a cleave work. So I wouldn't say it's Trinity's fault necessarily. I think she definitely could use something more in the future, but it is mostly just that cleave sucks. The reason why she's not used much. Uh, other than other than RTA cleave kind of team, Arena, you could use her in Arena offense. Again, it's not bad. Like, it's not bad. Sadly though, in Arena offense, it is good to have a Pisama instead. Because most of the time in arena offense, you would value him more than having a Trinity, especially because of like Abelios and I don't know stuff that you can reset. And sometimes her damage will be overkill, where Pisama's is gonna be just enough to not proc Abelio or something like that. Uh, how you want to build her? Well, depends on your team. If you're running a cleave comp where you gotta be speed tuned to a booster right speaker damage attack always swift will rage will fatal will whatever is your best set but yeah it has to be in crit damage and uh yeah that's kind of it vakarias are a pretty good family overall okay some tweaks could happen for some of them, but they're pretty good family. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think about Valkyrias and uh, let me know if you found this video informative. Okay. I'm going to try to do all the F5 families. As I said, next one is going to be dragons. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, leave a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay. Peace out. Have a good one.